In 2015, I wound up catching a murder charge. Officers were radio signs. Dad's in that bitch fucked in my head. If I don't beat the case, then I'd rather be dead. Cause I got a son and he gotta be fed. My lawyer can't see me, he kept on a hundred. Look me in my eyes, I ain't do no front. He said, to be honest, his life force nothing. Didn't think about it when I was out there. I had the I eventually beat it. By the grace of God, I was blessed enough to come out on the winning side. But that play a big part of my life. It shook me up. It really shook me up, you know. As far as life outside the streets, you know, I grew up in a good home. I had both my parents. Uh, later, I found I found out that the guy that I'm named after and the guy that raised me and did a hell of a job doing it wasn't my real dad. My real dad was in prison, and he had been in prison since I was born, and he actually just got released a few years ago. I always kind of felt like I didn't know myself like it was more to me that I could learn. And I think me not knowing my father played a big role in that because I feel I probably have a lot of him inside of me and I don't know him and I haven't got to know him. That kind of fucked me up, you know? But, uh, so I felt like since birth, I, I, my story was different. And a lot of stuff that I go through sometimes it feel like a movie, you know? A lot of people are not going to experience the stuff that I've been through. You know, I may sound be a little biased, but I think he's the best at what he does. And I think that if he really stays focused, he can exceed even his own expectations. And that makes me proud. I would be even more proud once he accomplishes all those goals. My mom was the absolute best, you know. Uh, I wouldn't trade her for nothing in the world. She's a great mom and also a great grandmother. And she did the best she could raising me, but I feel like the streets is just, is just part of me, you know, and that's something that she couldn't control, unfortunately.